This is the Debaga complex of camps for displaced people, almost 30,000 now. The camps are filling up, and this before the expected flow of thousands, perhaps tens of thousands, as a result of the Iraqi government offensive on Mosul. More IDPs arrive every day, lining up for emergency food and health kits. Almost all talked of near starvation in the conflict zone, hunger that drove them to make the dangerous trek to safety along roads sown with mines and IEDs. Here they have safety, shelter and food. UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Filippo Grandi, came to Debaga today. He heard one family's story of suffering. <laughs> Tell them that I'm very happy that they are in a safe place with some sub assistance. Grandi stressed that as the government offensive to retake Mosul begins, special attention must be paid to protecting civilians. The more civilians will feel protected inside Mosul, and the less they will be displaced. And for those who feel that they have to go because it is dangerous, uh, also, they have to be treated with dignity, with respect, in full respect of their rights. UNHCR stands ready to shelter many more displaced people than those in the Debaga complex. What it needs now from the regional government, the High Commissioner said, are safe sites to house the people fleeing conflict. <laughs>